Alright guys, so let's go ahead and go to our downloads directory and here we have the project file and you can find the link of the project file down in the description of this video. Thank you so much guys, thank you so much for getting the membership and thank you so much for the support. I really really appreciate this guys. I cannot thank you guys enough as I always say, here is our project file. You can help out the channel by getting the project file, link will be in the description. So let's go ahead and extract it and after that go inside the project file right click on empty space click on open in terminal and uh, let's make the script executable first for that you are gonna have to type chmod plus x and then script.sh and after that just simply run the script and that is it guys our work in the terminal is done no more terminal for the rest of the customization basically this script will install all the packages for us you can always go through the script what is inside it you can right click click on text editor and see what is inside the script a bunch of commands press enter to continue and again guys i really appreciate the support thank you for getting membership i really appreciate that that really helps me out that really helps out the channel we're gonna come up with more desktop customization ideas in the future so keep supporting guys all right guys so let's just wait for it to finish and it's gonna take a few minutes okay so once this is done and then open up this downloads link file that i've included inside the project file and then i'm going to simply get the themes so go to your browser and just download the icon pack and the gtk theme scroll down go to files and here i will simply download this one and download the icon pack click on download click on download and then i'm going to download these fonts and then download evolve core and then finally the wallpaper click on get font then click on this download button and download the evolve core zip file and finally let's download some wallpapers okay so once i have downloaded all of this i can close the 
browser now and close this one and then go to downloads and simply extract all of this downloaded zip files by the way i forgot to get the wallpapers so simply save all of them okay all right so once i've extracted all of this zip file so i can just delete them and here's what i'm going to do guys so first of all let's install the fonts so click on install then go back install this font click on install and finally this one once i've installed the fonts then go to this icon packs right click on the home directory and then click on open a new window and here select show hidden files and then go to dot icons and then simply drag and drop the groove box icon packs then go back in the home directory here and then go to dot icon uh, dot themes and here where is our groove box gtk theme all right guys so let's download the group box gtk theme because i think i have downloaded it but yeah let's just do it again so this one okay extract it and simply drag and drop them inside the dot themes all right guys so after that go inside evolve core and then open it and then simply change the gtk3 theme and gtk4 theme to group box and then gnome shell group box as well and after that search for extension manager which is this one go to browse and i'll install user themes first click on install and then i will install dash to talk click on install and search for transparent top bar which is this one click on install and then go to install sections and from here click on dash to dock and let's select this one place the icons to the center make the icons a bit smaller like this go to appearance shrink the dash you can turn down the opacity a little bit if you want right click on an empty space on your desktop then go to desktop icons and select this one i mean deselect this one show home folder and now guys i'm going to search for startup applications and then click on add and then name it u click on browse go to downloads and go to my project file and then select uopener.sh click on open click on add and then close it now i'm going to restart and here once you're in your login page click on your username and and then click on this gear icon and then select ubuntu on xorg so we are going to be using xorg because the u widgets run on xorg and as you can see that these are our u widgets and actually go to extension manager and go to dash to dock settings and dislike this one intelligent auto hide 
and we're good to go okay so the next thing that i will do is as you can see we have downloaded all of these wallpapers so open a new window and here you will see this walls folder go inside that walls folder and then simply copy and paste your wallpapers over here so for the first one let's go ahead and copy paste this wallpaper and this one and then walls 2 I'll have this one and this one and this one and this one copy it paste it inside the walls 2 folder then go to walls 3 I'll copy this one and this one paste it go to walls 4 this one walls 5 and finally walls 6 I'll have this one alright guys so now what I'm going to do is simply click on any of these buttons on the left bottom corner and it will change it will apply a different conky theme for each of these buttons so the first one is this one and also it will change the wallpaper as well and actually let me just quickly go here and turn down the opacity all right guys so this is our first conky theme and uh, actually i forgot to change the icon pack so you can search for tweaks Go to icons and then select group box and this is our icon pack and by the way you can actually install blur my shell as well so install blur my shell so this will give you this blur effect on your launch pad so install that okay so as you can see that it, it applied a uh, blur effect at the top panel as well so click on this gear icon and then go to panel and deselect this one then go to dash and you can actually deselect this one as well or maybe keep it if you want it like that and here you'll see that in our launch pad we have this blur effect uh, in the background you yeah, guys all right guys so uh, let me show you all of the conky themes so every time you click on one of these buttons so it's gonna change the wallpaper and also it's gonna change the conky theme for us so this is the first one so let's go to the second one this is how the second one looks and if i click it again it can change the wallpaper also so if i click on this second conky theme again it's gonna change the wallpaper again so go to the third one and this is the third conky theme this is the fourth one this is the fifth one and this is the sixth one yeah guys and let me tell you a fun fact and that is if you go inside this walls and if you put any wallpaper inside these folders and you click on these buttons it's gonna apply the wallpaper every time you click on these buttons so let's say if you want to apply your own wallpapers so you can just simply download your wallpapers and put them inside these folders so wall 3 is for this third conkey theme and yeah so yeah guys walls 1 2 3 4 5 6 for all of this and i know guys my english is very bad so uh i hope i'm explaining explaining it correctly so yeah guys there's that and uh, let me show you these other buttons so this one is for the u launcher so if you click on it it's gonna show you the u launcher you can type anything search anything and you can actually change the theme of the u launcher and uh, you can select group box and it's gonna have this group box thing which is pretty cool and all right guys so this is for the u launcher Alright, so this is for the U launcher, and uh, there is another button uh, beside that. 
and clicking on this button will actually turn on the Glava visualizer. So let's say if I play something, by the way guys, let's just quickly change the theme for the Firefox. So search for group box and let's go ahead and install this one. Okay. So this looks nice. Okay. So let's go ahead and play something and show you how the Glava visualizer works. Okay. So I will click on this button and you will notice that this is the Glava visualizer but it doesn't look good so we're gonna change that and i will show you how so go to your files and uh, by the way click on this button again it's gonna turn off the Glava so this is a toggle button so if i click on it it's gonna start Glava and click on it it's gonna actually turn off the Glava so go to downloads and then go to my project file and here we have a Glava frag file. I'm gonna select all of it, press Ctrl A on your keyboard to select all of it and Ctrl C to copy all of the frag file. And after that, go to home, go to .config and then go to Glava, go to parse, go to one.frag, open it, select everything, delete it and simply paste our new frag file and then control s to save type my password and that is it now if i run glava and you will see that this is our glava visualizer and this is how it looks guys so yeah guys and guys the reason behind uh, making this button this toggle on off button is because it takes up a lot of processing power the glava visualizer so i don't usually recommend it but you can turn it on sometimes and uh, it takes up a lot of processing power as you can see that uh, it is at 30 percent right now and if i turn it off you will see that it will go down immediately to one percent and yeah guys that is the reason but it's cool you can run it sometimes while you're not working while you are playing some song and yeah guys it's pretty cool so there is our Glava visualizer and these are all of the con key themes changing button and on the right hand side over here at the bottom uh, we have the buttons for changing the workspace so let's say the, we are in uh, first workspace right now so let's go to second workspace and open up a different let's say open up a terminal over here and i can go back to my first workspace and then go to second workspace like that and third fourth like that yeah guys and you can actually do some customization on the terminal as well you can go to scroll in hide the scroll bar and uh, you can actually go to colors and select solarized and this actually goes with the group box theme we are having here like that all right guys and also to get the exact weather information for your location you can read this uh, readme file so i have provided this information how you can do that simply get an account and uh, to open weathermap.org and Get the api and city id for your location and then simply all right guys so this is it i hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure to give it a like and subscribe and thank you so much thank you so much for the support for getting the membership guys i really really appreciate that all of the project files you're gonna have access to those and also the upcoming ones that i'm going to upload soon and uh, there will be more customizations new customizations so yeah guys and i will see you in the next video